Are you ready for some hopping fun? These adorable little felt bunnies make the perfect addition to any spring decorating. Today we're sharing you the simple no-sew craft idea, the latest in our Easter series for this year. For this project you'll need some felt, stuffing, scissors, glue, dowel, a wooden disc, as well as the printable template you can get at sustainmycrafthabit.com. Okay, so I have this little bunny um, already cut out in felt and I used like a dark gray for that pattern. So I have two of them and now I'm gonna cut out the big bunny in a different color of felt and I chose this nice light gray color. So I'm gonna place, I have two um, copies that's the identical shape on both sides and then I've already started cutting here. So basically just place the pattern on the corner of the felt here trying to save as much felt as I can for other projects and holding the pattern down with this hand on top of the felt so it doesn't shift, I'm going to cut along the solid line all the way around until the bunny's cut out. So using the same pattern or the second one, I like to cut onto paper as opposed to following along. It actually makes the cuts a lot cleaner is um, to use the full um, pattern for both pieces. Okay, so now the pieces are cut out and then I want to just lay one on top of the other to make sure that they're the same. When you cut by hand, sometimes you have edges that are not exact. So now at this point, I can, um, I can just go along and just trim any uneven edges to make the both sides um, as close to the same as possible. And the other option, of course, is to use the SVG file that we also have. Um, and shared it and you can use that with your cutting machine and the cutting is so precise um, and exactly identical for both sides so that's always really nice to do or nice to have if you have that option. Okay so now I have my pieces cut out and now it's time to assemble everything. So you can see here the completed larger of my two bunnies. The front side has a cute bow and the back side a fluffy little tail. So we're going to start by gluing the two pieces of felt together, starting at the ears and using a little bit of glue as you go along. Now this tends to work better than doing it all at once because the glue cools down so fast. So there you go, your two sides are set and now we're going to just gently stuff the inside of the bunny. You don't want it to be overstuffed, just enough to give it a little bit of 3D texture. You can use your dowel to help push the stuffing inside. So has spring sprung yet in your neck of the woods? Leave us a comment below so we know where you're watching from as this always interests us. Although we don't have snow, we still feel like a far ways away from spring in our area near Toronto, Canada. Now we're going to add our little embellishments. So these are adorable little pre-made bows that I found at my local craft store ages ago. They've been sitting in my craft collection forever. So it's nice to put them to use as well as just a little white pom-pom for the tail. And that's it, your bunny is all set to go. So now we're just going to add in the dowel. And it's great to have the dowel going up all the way through the bunny, which will give it more stability. I wanted my second little bunny to be shorter than my big bunny. So I cut the dowel to size and now I'm just gluing the opening closed. Next you'll place your dowel inside the base, which in our case is just a simple birch branch wood slice that has the hole drilled in. 
that's just big enough to fit the dowel. And there you go. Our little bunny family is all done and perfect for all our Easter decorating. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out our other Easter craft ideas that we have this year. Last week we shared some simple twine wrapped eggs as well as Easter painted mason jars. And coming up, we have decorating a three-tiered tray for Easter. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as usual and subscribe for more nature-inspired DIY and craft ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!